Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So we have some quick little news things here for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not official Reese news, kind of like, uh, like a reaction thing maybe, but 3.0 update is apparently coming tomorrow. So let's watch this little showcase video, and let's go ahead and see this. So here we go with... This is kind of like a mini direct, maybe. No, and then we have like a little thing with Joker here. This is a little render or little graphic thing we already saw. Steals the show, that's pretty cool. We got an official splash screen. That is a really cool render. Joker! That looks like a pretty cool character. I, I, I never actually invested into the Persona series, but like... Since Joker's in Smash, I might actually consider it. Oh wait! That's- the- there was an alt skin! And then it showed Kirby's also. Oh! Oh, that's cool! It's kind of like the thing that Cloud has, maybe. The- kind of like the limit break, maybe, but kind of different. I don't play Persona games, but... It, yeah, it's kind of similar to how that works. It's like a bar, or maybe kind of like a Little Mac and, um... Is this gonna be another broken character? This looks like it's gonna be another broken character, but it looks really cool. Oh, that's cool. And then there's Piranha Plant, Planty Boy. Oh, that is nice. That map looks clean and amazing. That looks like a nice map. Oh, is that like stage hazards, like stage backgrounds, maybe? The base color changes depending on the music. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Kind of reminds me of the Mario Maker stage. Oh wow, this is gonna be a pretty nice stage here. Oh, so it's like the Persona games. That's pretty cool. Oh, and that's the um, victory theme. Oh, and it even has a different victory theme. That's cool. Kind of like how some of the characters did. That is really cool. That is actually really cool. K rule. Oh, there's another spot. That's cool. That's really cool. They they'll update it every time there's a new character. That's pretty cool. Much more than we have left. Ooh, that was only like three the minutes of it. update for the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game is almost here. What are we adding, you ask? You're about to find out. But first, this is gonna be. Ooh, that's oh, Joker. Is there gonna be something else, or is that? That's pretty part cool. Of the fighters pass. Challenger Pack One introduces Oh, it's just Joker showing Joker. And then the stage. Moves and knack for nine. That's really cool. Fall victim to Joker's masterful manipulation. For his neutral special, we literally just saw a gameplay trailer, but that's oh, this is like more of an explanation thing. But that's really cool. While shooting, you can also dodge forward, backward, or in midair. His up special fires a grappling hook. It can be aimed at a diagonal angle, or you can use it. Oh, so that that's kind of like. Oh, it's kind of like Link's thing, but upward. Or maybe like... Onto edges. Yeah, similar to Link's hookshot. His side special invokes but it, it kind of goes upward. Snap. The initial or hit young isn't very Link. Strong, Toon Link. It I'm not sure if normal Link has that. And know That's... this. These are not even their final forms. The full power of these special moves must be unleashed. The trick... 
His down special, Rebel's Guard. Just like Cloud. That's or um. Fills up slowly over time. Yeah, that's just like Cloud's um. In terms of damage or stock. It's just like Cloud's limit break, the kind of. Or the and little Mac kind of. Guard, he can fill the more like Cloud though. While reducing any damage received by half. This is kind of like a mixture of Cloud, Bayonetta, and Link. You can even defend from combo attacks. And you even with like other things included also. Once his rebellion gauge is full, persona. he'll unmask and summon a manifestation of his persona, Arsene. Until the gauge runs out, Arsene will assist Joker in a power. Oh, fight. it's a different than Cloud because it, it doesn't have like a it 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 lasts a little longer. With his persona at his side. Joker can deal additional damage with each attack, and beyond that, I'm not sure what character to compare that to. That's kind of his original to have like something for the whole meter until it runs out. It handles the same as before, only now you'll fire three bullets per shot. His up special transforms into Wings of Rebellion. Oh, so it just makes him into a more po powerful character. That's pretty cool. Up. I can see a lot of people getting mad at that in the match. So, have a safe flight. For his side special, Arsene have invokes Aegeon. Oh, that's cool. It's almost like a almost a completely upgraded move set when that happens. And there's Shulk. His down special performs one of two counter attacks, each triggering automatically. For melee attacks, you'll counter with Tetracard. And projectiles can be deflected with Makarakarn. That's really cool. Oh, by the way, Arsene is completely invincible. And then there's Joker's final smash. Well, of course it's invincible. You can't, like, it's technically like a move. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a nice looking final smash overall. You can try again once more by tilting the control stick back in the other direction. And I'm gonna be get the play as Joker tomorrow. So feel free to use it whenever you want. That was graceful. Joker's victory screen replicates the one in Persona 5. The Phantom Thief has sense. something to say about his victories too. When Joker taunts, Morgana shows up. Looking cool, Joker. That's pretty cool. His alternate costume is his Shujin Academy uniform. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. The, um... Good thing he can use his glasses to summon Arsene. <laughs> I thought I was gonna see... Oh, wait. Oh, that's pretty cool. We're also adding in the new stage, Mementos. In this I thought that was gonna say meme for a second, but whatever. Come your way during battle. But that's a pretty cool stage. I think that's what everyone expected as the stage. And before long, the stage hazard parts will rush to the scene in the Morgana car. Oh, they don't. Oh, they're just like backgrounds. Eleven music tracks will be. Oh, that's cool. We're getting like eleven. I like. I always like music tracks. Oh, they have Persona Four, Persona Three. Okay, that's good that we're not just getting Persona 5, we're also getting the other ones. Four plays at mementos, the color of the stage and background will change. Is this is a lot better than the Smash 4 music? DLC. I think the way that they're doing it in this the game is a lot better than the last the one. Way when Joker wins. Since you get like a character and a stage with music and stuff like that, that's really cool. Challenger Pack 1 will include the new fighter Joker. Tomorrow! Stage, mementos and the Persona music tracks when it launches on April 17th. That is really cool. If you purchase this pack, you'll also get a Joker route in classic mode and yep. open up a special version of the Spirit Board. Oh, that's really cool. You can also purchase the Super Smash Bros. I already Ultimate have that, so I'm going to I'm going to get it automatically. And all others for a total of 5 packs. We're currently and hard let's at work see the, the rest of this for the half other half of the video in the future. Oh yeah, and then there's Me Fighter costumes too. Wait, is there gonna be like a bunch of new ones? Like, or is there just gonna be a couple round ones? So there's gonna be like multiple rounds of these. 
Yeah, we have Persona here. That's really cool. And then Persona 4, we're gonna get a, like... And I think I saw 3 also. That's really cool. And then Persona 3... That's really cool, like, we're getting all this... Like, it's almost- Oh, Sonic! Wait, Tails! Oh, that's really cool! And then we have Knuckles here, too. So you can finally kind of play as Tails or Knuckles. That's really cool. Wait, that music that was just playing, I think that was, um, Sonic Mania music. The new Mii Fighter costumes will be available for purchase April 17th, with more to come in the future. Is it a, oh wait, is that a part of the... Oh. Aw, oh, crap, it's not included in the Fighter's Pass. Well, that's kind of stupid, but, like, I have stuff with that Final. anyway. Let's cover the new content included in the free version 3.0 update. Oh, yep, Stage Builder. Stage Builder. That was already confirmed. Okay, I wanted to see what this is about. Make yeah, that's really cool. Try them out immediately with the new Stage Builder. In handheld oh, that's really cool. Really draw using the touch screen. Yeah, that's nice that you can, like, draw them. Kind of like the Wii U version. Oh, they're like even more customizable this time. Spinning platforms, whatever strikes you. There are even new stage elements to choose from. That is really cool. Oh, that's cool. It's like you can teleport across the stage. And oh, it's like Super Mario Bros. Three. Front and back layers. That's really By cool. Changing layers, you can add decorative elements to your stages. This almost reminds me of a, a game coming out in a couple months. Super Mario Maker 2. When you finish a stage, you can battle there by selecting it from this tab. On oh, the that's, stage that's really cool. Switch Maze. That, that's a pretty cool idea on there. Video Editor. Now, I'm pretty familiar with stuff like that right here on my YouTube channel. And splice them together. Maybe I can make some of my YouTube videos Editing on this. Is very simple. Just pick the parts you want to keep. That's really cool. Add some background music. And subtitles. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And choose how to transition from scene to scene. It's like, it's almost like Windows Once Movie Maker. Complete, this is better than Windows complete. Movie Maker. Because even this, a Smash Video Editor, is better than Windows Movie Maker. I, that's actually not that bad of a video editor on, on a video game. Shared, aren't they? And that, that is cool, also. You know what? I might actually do that. Like, you post them on things. And stages created and uploaded by users around the world. That's... Oh, that's cool! Okay, well, I'm gonna post Beyond on there. Players, videos, and replays, when when I set that up, I'm gonna... Download me fighters and stages. That is really cool. That, that is really cool! You could, like, do that. So I'll make some... You, you find can... something you like... Give it a yeah. I'm definitely gonna use or you this feature. Follow the person who posted it. Follow me when it comes out. <laughs> Smash World is a service found in the Nintendo Switch Online oh, app that's for smart cool. devices. The app already supports voice chat. Oh, that's cool. Well, I mean, like, even and though now, I don't like the app very much, but an app for Smash is always and good. In Smash World, without starting up the game. That's pretty cool. You can even, like... Can you, like, save you the videos off the there? Fighter. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool! Can be viewed in one place. That's, that's a really clever stage like, maker there. Simply tap the queued downloads button. Oh, that's cool. 
You can, like, download it on there. The next time you start up Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, you'll be able to download them to your system. You can also check in-game notifications here. Oh, that's cool. Because, like, I'm not always on the Smash spirits in app your collection. Itself. The version 3.0 update of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate tomorrow. will be released on April 17th. That's actually tomorrow. That's really cool. I can actually create like a... Let's see, like a Waluigi's Pinball Land. Like a stage, like a Waluigi stage. That is actually really cool. That's like the best um, stage builder out of any game in the Super Smash Bros. series. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.